<laughs> All right, I am looking for the question to a jolly swagman. <laughs> <laughs> What is my nickname for my... <laughs> We're not on the radio anymore, Matt. You can't say penis. <laughs> oh, my jolly swag, man. <laughs> what does a swag look like? Don't! <laughs> no, swag... Ah! Ah! That's actually his fly on topic. Am I right in thinking that's the wrong answer, then? Yeah, oh. It is oh. not your junk, Matt. But next up, July and August. When am I at my most fertile? <laughs> Every single question, Matt. You are just one walking cock gag, aren't you? He's a walking cock. <laughs> Squared it across for you. You just hammered that one home, didn't you, Thomas? That's his, it his job, really. Hey. All right, next up, the albatross. What is the name I give to my penis? <laughs> Not every answer, Matt. Not every answer has to be a cock joke. Specifically, no, what about your cock? <laughs> Okay, what is the name I give to my penis? <laughs> no? No, no, unsurprisingly. There are, there are actually, I'm fairly certain in saying, in this entire Trivial Pursuit set, it doesn't mention your penis once. That's why you should say that, because I've got a Trivial Pursuit pack over by me here. Yeah. And uh, the answer is Matt Gray's penis. Really? What was, what was the question? <laughs> what does he call the albatross? <laughs> <laughs> and that was in 1984. Yeah. Is, this, is this a cock joke special today? <laughs> How is it a special? How is it different from anything else we've ever done? I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find a question now where the answer <laughs> that you guys give will not be Matt Gray's penis. <laughs> Because so far I've got Hamilton, Matt Gray's penis, <laughs> Bert Lynch, <laughs> The Whip, <laughs> and Stanley Matthews. <laughs> I really want someone to call it that. The thought of going, just have a chat with Stanley Matthews down there. <laughs> and the self contained underwater breathing apparatus, which. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Periscope! <laughs> We, we've spoilt Trivial Pursuit <laughs> with my penis. Bear in mind that this is a, uh, a 1984 uh, Trivial Pursuit uh, set. The answer is 50 cents. How much does Macro's penis cost? Oh, for quite <laughs> out loud. Gary, uh, I'm worth much more than that. No, I'm not going with that one. Go with it. I can't say the Washington Post because that will just be his penis again. <laughs> <laughs> what is the same size, length and density? <laughs> I love the fact you are now second-guessing tasteless guys <laughs> and in your own way making a tasteless gag by doing that. Yeah. So your next question. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. <laughs> what are the names of my two testicles? Oh, God. <laughs> what I like is that only one of them is Ginger. <laughs> what do they both do while Gene Kelly watches? <laughs> I'm broken, Gray. <laughs> your next one, then. Five miles. It's from entertainment, this. Something about five miles long. <laughs> it's not Matt Gray's penis. <laughs> Old school, that. Your next one, then. The 1500 metres. Oh. <laughs> Matt Gray, for the benefit of the tape, gestures at his crotch. <laughs> <laughs> what, you have to find Mo Farah running up it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Mobot, Mobot! He's got his own special gesture that he keeps in reserve. <laughs> Your first answer is the trombone. <laughs> okay, apparently that's just inherently fun. Can I, can I just dust off what is the name of Matt Gray's penis? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You can dust joke. it off any oh, time horror. you want. The old horror. joke back from the dead. The thing is, though, that's so vintage now, it's almost pleasing to see it. Yeah. It's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a London, old style London bus just chugging around every so often, isn't it? Oh, memories, eh? The time we had a go on Matt Gray's penis. <laughs> Blank looks all round. So it's a wavy bladed Malaysian dagger. Tip of my tongue. <laughs> Tom, tip of my tongue. Which, is that a nickname for your penis? <laughs> Are we going back to that joke? I'm not saying a thing. <laughs> the wavy bladed Malaysian dagger in my pants. <laughs> your last one then, the jackrabbit. <laughs> How does that get a giggle? Oh, it's not Matt Grace. <laughs> <laughs> the bouncy is not in bed. Next up, oh god. I was really hoping this was going to be one that couldn't be turned into a cock gag, but your next one is General Tom Thumb. 
<laughs> what? Dusting off the tome and creaking it open, <laughs> blowing off the dust. <sighs> it says here in an ancient script, what is ye name of Matt Gray's penis? <laughs> I went to Boulogne with some friends. I drive off the train and there's this big column in the distance. It turns out Matt Gray's is- penis. <laughs> There is Napoleon's massive erection. Uh, Your next one, then, is Galahad. (laughs) Not the name for Matt Gray's penis. Move on. What if... Wait, 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 wait. You you dismissed that. What if that actually is the name of Matt Gray's penis? (laughs) Whoever removes Matt's sword from this stone. (laughs) (laughs) Held aloft by the lady in the lake. (laughs) If only. Next up, then. The Hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> Why has that got a geek? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> penis. What, you mean what's about five inches long, extensible? <laughs> <That's a> very <laughs> nice. <laughs> Braz, I hate to break this to you, but you know how dust is human skin. I mean, we're in Matt Gray's living room right now. Chances are, at some point, we've breathed in a particle of his cock. 